before we get to this preview, we have really unfortunate news um, from the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Mercury Morris, um, who was a teammate of the Miami Dolphins for the 72 undefeated season and the 73 season, winning two Super Bowls with the Miami Dolphins, have passed away this morning. Um, that is what's happening that's what's happened this morning. So my condolences to the Morris family. Um, it's surely a, a tough time, to say the least. Um, for Mercury Morris, um, we, 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 need to, we need to win this for him. We need to win this for him. So our game is that we go to Seattle, where they are a much heavy favorites against the Miami Dolphins. They are 2-0 this season. Miami Dolphins coming off a pretty ugly loss on Thursday night against the Buffalo Bills. We don't need to talk anymore what happened with Tua. Um, I'm, I'm, we're hearing good things about Tua. So, Skylar Thompson is going to be the starting quarterback in this game. Um, their, their starting quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks is uh, Geno Smith. Um, I believe that is their quarterback, uh, quarterback Geno Smith. So, um, Geno Smith definitely resurrected, um, resurrected his career, his his career. Um, he's definitely, definitely balling out. Now, um, in terms of injuries for the Dolphins, well, Malik Washington is doubtful. Um, the boss is. Um, injured. Raheem Moster still um, still doubtful. I don't think he's going to play this game. Hopefully he plays next week. Uh, Tua, yeah, he's going to be out for a while. I think week eight is what they're saying that he'll be back by. Uh, for Seattle, there's not too much injury problems. You know, they have a good running back. You know, uh, Walker, you know, I Kenneth Walker, or Kenneth Walker, um, Mc, Metcalf is also really good receiving, but Tyreek Hill is still wonderful. So with this with this game against Seattle Seahawks, it's going to be much tougher. Scott, so Skylar Thompson is going to have to do his thing somehow, some way to try to pull off this upset against Seattle Seahawks. The last time the Dolphins had beaten the Seattle Seahawks was back in 2012. This was when Russell Wilson was making his NFL debut. Um, and that was that was at Miami. That was at Miami when this happened. So since then, they are on a two-game losing streak against the Seattle Seahawks. Losing them, losing against them, almost beating them in week one in 2016. And then uh, week of 2020 season where it was just uh, the ball movement of where the ball was placed has been incredibly bad officiating in that game but yeah Seattle Seahawks the team itself very tough and it's even tougher to play at Lumen Field Lumen Field used to be called CenturyLink Field if I recall that is a incredibly good Seattle crowd, especially for football, incredible. In fact, all the sports teams in Seattle, the fans are incredible. Even the Mariners, they show up. They show up when they had that 20-year drought. But that's a story for a different time. All I'm saying is, it is a hardcore fans that the Miami Dolphins have to adapt from. Because not only you're going too far west... But you're facing a really tough crowd. And and not and not to mention you're about to face a really, really tough Seattle Seahawks team that can play football. Even without Pete Carroll. I think Pete Carroll retired. I think Pete Carroll retired from coaching. Um let me let me let me double check really quickly. Um, because I, I heard I heard a story that that Pete Carroll uh retired. Who is their who is their head coach? Mike McDonald. Okay, so Pete Carroll did in fact uh, uh, stop coaching the Seattle Seahawks. So Mike McDon McDonald 
not McDonald's, but McDonald, um, coaching the Seattle Seahawks. And he's 2-0. He's 2-0 with the, the Seahawks so far. So let's see what happens in this game. I'm always going to root for the Dolphins. Absolutely. Let's rebound from that ugly loss against the Bills and then take our frustrations out on the Seahawks. And hopefully, um, Skylar Thompson makes his shine. If not, give it give the opportunity to Tyler Huntley, who is from the Baltimore Ravens. Um, you know, a pretty solid quarterback. But we'll see what happens in this one, folks. But either way, guys, there you go. That is your preview for this week. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content because Miami TVG has your back. Or Miami TVG has your back. And what he does, he'll be right there with you for your you deserve. Let's go, Dolphins. Fins up. Let's get this W in the Cascadia region, the Pacific Northwest, in Seattle, Washington. So that's going to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night, everybody.